Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this is my son Ben. And today we have the pleasure, the real pleasure to taste the Glendronach 18 years of age. Oh, that's a really nice whiskey. And we've just been to the distillery, uh, oh yeah, last year. So it's not, not that recent. October, October 2017. 2017. And we will really put in a video. Of, of I think we had with, uh, with oh, a yeah, with, with a drone. Oh, we can... We yeah. can Print that in right now. But last year we we tried a bottle for our twenty uh, fifth anniversary, and uh, not the bottle, a cask. A cask yeah. We got a cask for the twenty fifth anniversary, and it's one of the best whiskies I've ever tried. Nineteen ninety three. Nineteen ninety three Glendronach. Uh, I think it was an Oloroso cask, mm -hmm. and it was just a really nice, intense sherry whiskey. Mm -hmm. really and this nice. is the main uh, character of Glendronach. Uh, this. Sherry cask maturation. Mm -hmm. This is uncolored, unchill filtered. What a dark whiskey! So yeah, it has this is a incredible. high amount of first fill sherry casks in it, if mm -hmm. it, if not all. And there are several other bottles uh, from Glendronach, 12 years of age, 15 years of age. And there's a specialty. The distillery was closed and reopened in 2002. Mm -hmm. So today we write 2018. So 16 years in production. So the 18 year of age has to be from the time before. So there had been stocks of this bottle and uh, some of these bottles might be a lot older than the 18 years of age. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a, a gem and the 15 year old was sold out in the market, increased in price extremely. Mm -hmm. And this will happen to the 18 years uh, real soon now. So the price is uh, around 80 euros, dollars, pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and this is quite affordable for such a wonderful bottle with 46% ABV. Yeah. So um, guess what we want to say to you is um, if you really regularly try the Glendronach 18 years, mm -hmm. then you should probably stock up with one or two bottles depending on your consumption um, for the next three, four years because mm -hmm. it's going to get get <coughs> to a shortage. Yeah, yeah, it's going and to get to the, the new bottle will come out uh, with a higher price label mm, yes. until <laughs> it will adapt to the market again. Yeah. They so were, there will be a, a higher uh, price in the first year or first two years. Mm -hmm. um, the company was founded by James Allardyce. This mm -hmm. was a really interesting person. Um, he sold his whiskey directly into the red light district Oof. of Aberdeen. <laughs> 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 and it was said that he was paid not always in cash. Uh, so <laughs> this where did you find the story? <laughs> the story had been on the old uh, red tube. Really? Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> on before, the bottle. Oh, just yeah, uh, on the tube, and uh, then with a the new appearance, of the next one uh, it, it vanished. <laughs> so it's not pretty ah, correct. Come on, it's not pretty <laughs> correct. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's a fun story, though. Yeah, <laughs> man, I think it's true. <laughs> so, but he was very keen on excellent whiskey. Yeah, so this it is a wonderful it story as well. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are looking into that whiskey, and I have to pour with the left here on your cask. Mm. So this is more difficult for me. I should do the pouring. <laughs> I already smell a bit of it. Yeah. So I didn't smell on the cork because I did it just a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Definitely good. Yeah. <laughs> really, really impressive. A wonderful nose. Uh, a sherry nose. Completely overwhelming. It's sherry, sherry, sherry. And well, fruity. A lot of fruit. And a uh, little sweetness, but not the sweetness from the fruits but the f sweetness from the caramel from the stave of the cask. So it's stewed fruit mm -hmm. or fruits. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely uh, a whiskey with uh, fruit punch. Definitely. Fruit pie or, I don't know, mixed fruits. Definitely. And the thing is, I've read the um, tasting notes before and they said it's like um, light and um, lovely, mild, lovely, lovely and mm -hmm. night, light. I disagree mm -hmm. a bit with that one. <laughs> um, it's more of a, a grapey one, a bit of a darker fruity tones and maybe some oranges, blood oranges, mm, 
just before grapefruit, mm, but it's definitely uh, definitely you you already smell a bit of the the spiciness and yeah. only only very few influences. Now, as you said, these blood oranges, there's a, a light uh, citrus note. Mm, a light citrus note, yeah. Yeah, and it's not that citric, but it's more I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> juicy. Juicy, definitely a juicy a juicy. Uh, orange appearance bright deep gold with a tawny center this is mahogany completely like yeah, slightly bit, bit reddish. darker than you said right <laughs> yeah. usually they they go in the other direction <laughs> they over, <laughs> overstate the darkness nose lovely and sweet fudge fruit compote and glacier morello cherries mm -hmm. fabulous complexity that's definitely true a wonderful complexity out of this distillery character combined with the sherry cast. It's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. First, lovely and sweet on the tongue, and then after five to ten seconds, spiciness, oakiness, impact. Strong, mouth-watering, and a wonderful, very light note of chocolate, darker chocolate. Not to say that it's bitter. No, it's very light chocolate note in it. So now the oranges are more present, and the aftertaste is completely spicy with this very light chocolate note. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. It's one, one word to describe it. Intense. You do have a lot of intensity in the sherry. You do have a lot of intensity on the oak. And it's kind of a, a balance. I'm not quite sure who's winning on that one. It's, mm, it's, it's strong on both sides. And it's not bitter, it's bittersweet with a bit of chocolate note and also the oranges you had from the smell very juicy a little bit of yeah a bit of sweetness in there so if I'd, i would rate it like a, a chocolate i would go for 60 percent cacao something like that and it's um wonderfully complex wonderfully complex yeah, the tasty notes of billy mm. walker wow. typically this is marketing blur on those tubes but here billy walker the master is still himself writes on it remarkable flavors of stewed fruits and allspice allspice mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. aged oloroso and toasted walnut bread so this nuttiness is uh, uh, sherry cask uh, oloroso sherry cask are typically accompanied uh, by walnuts but this is quite faint yeah uh, it's quite faint yeah. yeah walnut bread combined with chocolate orange so these chocolates containing some of the caramelized yeah, it's orange it's this typical cubes. Op yes. like chocolate orange i do like it in my whiskey i don't like it if i if i eat the you know chocolate orange in bar form it's just yeah so it's nice So this is my third light sip on this one. And it's so adding up, so rewarding, so full, complex, showing the spiciness. This is wonderfully balanced with a long, long aftertaste, but not that bitter uh, espresso aftertaste. It's, mm -hmm. it's more or less between milk chocolate and your 60% dark chocolate. So somewhere in between. Um, I, I did a tasting with chocolates going mm -hmm. from 34% cacao, cacao in it up to 80 or 90. Ooh. And the best for me was 54. 54, <laughs> middle, right? Mm -hmm. So, and this is quite close to this. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Would, I'm not sure. I, I haven't tasted. I think we have a box with these. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would rate it a bit higher than 54. Uh, yeah. So 58.5 <laughs> average. <laughs> <laughs> they could put it on the label. <laughs> We're like a 60% chocolate. 
Yeah, mm, that's nice. I, nice. I should finish this one, but there's yeah. still a, another bottle to go. We have so, a long way to go today. So mm -hmm. we uh, have to stay sober. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Be careful. This will have a bit of a supply hiccup during the next half decade. So be aware that this might be sold out. Thank you very much for watching. And if you found this video interesting, then please give us a thumbs up and see you next time.